also looks like the first picture for James Gunn's Superman, the costume, like the full picture, he dropped it today. And when I see this picture, I'm here like, wow, uh, this is exciting. Same time, I do see a lot of people are mixed on this costume. Although to me personally, this costume picture, it doesn't matter because I don't know the story. I don't know how everything will be. Uh, so I'm personally, I'm not that invested in any superhero costume, but uh, but I do understand a lot of people are invested in this. And a lot of people do feel a mix about this costume. And uh, although this picture, the way it was shot and the way the Superman is touching his boot, uh, it, it's very artistic, honestly. From this picture point of view, looks like he's really tired. Like this picture taken from end of the day, he's like end of his shift or something <laughs> like he's putting the boot on to go on one more fight uh that is what it looked like uh which is looks like uh like he's tired like why is the superman tired i don't know then again i don't know the story so that is why i personally don't want to comment on that but again you know why is he tired in this shouldn't be he be happy and like he's superman you know he's super power person but like, he shouldn't be tired like and again, we don't know what is the story happening in this. That is, of course, the biggest thing, uh, like when you see this picture, uh, David uh, Cronsfeld, who, by the way, he just looks like Henry Cavill. That is crazy how much he looks like Henry Cavill. It looks like it's a, like a photocopy of him. <laughs> it's a beyond, like, it's really, uh, like, really, really sad that Henry Cavill is not in this movie. Uh, same time, like, really, he looks like a, a younger version of Sir Henry Cavill. So Henry Cavill is only 41. How old is David Concert? I think he's 31 years old or something. Uh, that being said, I feel like uh, after seeing the reaction for this, the first picture for the Superman costume, I just realized this today that this movie will never be a big hit uh, because a lot of people still feel so mixed about this. Like, I don't imagine this movie will be for everyone. A lot of people will th avoid this movie simply because it's not Henry Cavill. Of course, the way they treated Henry Cavill, the way they fired him, I guess it always will be baggage for the Superman, new Superman movie. Uh, that being said, of course, <laughs> I personally think this movie still has a lot of chances to be a good because this movie it is written and directed by James Gunn. Obviously, he, his work on a Garden of the Galaxy were really good. Uh, even his last movie, Garden of the Galaxy 3, all the, all the other MCU movie flopped, but that's the only movie, I guess, made money for MCU. Obviously, he is, end of the day, MCU guy. Now he's going to be directing <laughs> DC, biggest superhero, Superman movie. So, yeah. It is a little bit nervous thing because I do see like still people are like people feel mixed about this. Uh, I think we can give him a chance simply because looks like he is very capable director. Doesn't mean I guess <laughs> I feel like still now this movie will be never be a big hit. It, it will still it will have a lot to overcome for our normal public because still I see especially the hardcore fan, you know. Uh, these people are Twitter. They don't represent the hardcore fan. Uh, I think the people will come if this movie is good. But if he make this movie like the ba Bride Burn, this movie, will, I, I hope he's still making a light-hearted Superman movie. Like it's not, like I, I don't know, sad and downer. I think a lot of people don't want to see that. And yeah, I will say it's still if this picture got mixed reception from the people but i think it looks so good and that's my thought on this let me in the comment what do you think about this picture if you're about this video don't share other videos and other topics please subscribe until i see you next time please